I was looking at a magazine the other day and I was reading this article about foundations and I saw this picture a beautiful picture of a house fantastic house and the windows were perfect the doors were immaculate and then they showed on the next page that the house had no foundation a house without foundation is condemned and I've come to this conclusion you might want to write this down the greatest crisis in national development is not lack of money or lack of investment or even crime and unemployment but behavioral scientists have proven that the greatest crisis in national development of any country is the absence of fathers in the nation and in the home this has been proven scientific studies there is no substitute for father please write that down because we are beginning to see people redefine marriage and in some cases they say a child can have two mothers but there is no substitute for fathers please write these three statements down number one a teacher is not a father there are people who teach you things in life don't confuse them with being a father number two a guardian is not a father he may be assigned to stay with someone to bring you up but it doesn't mean that they can take the place of father and number three a friend is not a father you may have been brought up by some friend or some relative and they've done good things for you but they can never take the place of father matter of fact how do you identify a father first corinthians chapter four please get your pen find this verse and underline it because this is where i think we've made some mistakes we have confused a teacher with a father or a guardian with a father but let's read what god's constitution says about a father first corinthians 4 verse 17 verse 15 rather says even though you have ten thousand guardians in christ some translation says teachers you do not have many fathers for in christ i became your father through the gospel therefore i urge you to what imitate me now this is important when you go to school and you have a teacher you don't need to imitate the teacher you just simply take what they give you as far as the lesson and you go home you don't want to be like the teacher so how do you identify a father distinguished from a teacher or a guardian or a friend here's how the father is the person who tells you do what I do say what I say be like me dress like me act like me go where I go you have many teachers he says many guardians but you lack fathers the Bahamas has a reputation of letting other people bring up the kids now huh? especially on the family islands we dump our kids on Grammy or some step somebody or some uncle or aunt the Bible says you can have many teachers many guardians but you still need what a father and a father is not a person who teaches you anybody can tell you what not to do and what to do but for them to be with you long enough so you can imitate them that is a different story write this down a father is the one who is present observable and you can emulate see you cannot imitate who is absent 
And I can tell you now that most of the men in this auditorium today, if you use this definition, they never had a father. They had a guy who slept home and was gone before they woke up. A father is the one you can imitate. You cannot imitate who is absent. You can imitate who is observable. I ask you a question, men. Would you want your kids to do everything you do? Even the secret stuff? Should they imitate your behavior? The words you use? How you act toward women who are not your wife? Should your son imitate everything? Is the Hebrew word Abba, and it means source, sustainer, foundation, it means root, it means genetic pool. Matter of fact, the word that is used in the Hebrew is progenitor, progenerator, the one who is the supporter of genes. The father is the foundation, the source of life. God says, honor your source, honor your sustainer. I guess if you look at these words and think about your father, some of you don't have a good definition anymore, do you? Was your father a foundation for your life? Was your father like a root that you could hold on to and when the storms come, you stay steady? Was your father the one who was the provider and the source that you could depend on to supply you with what you needed all your life? Is your father the genetic pool you're proud of? You're proud to be related to that person? Are we ashamed of our fathers? I heard a young man said one day, he says, I am so sorry I have my father's genes. That was the most depressing statement I heard for ages. But God can become your father and give you new genes. And that's the good news. God can re Hi, thank you so much for watching. Please remember you can support our work on our Patreon page and you get access to exclusive content and full videos. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and click the notification bell to be the first to receive newer content. Please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends to be a blessing to them.